today we are going to discuss about ITL basic fundamentals this session is targeted for uh, freshers who are all newly joining the IT industry and supporting the uh, IT infrastructure and they need to understand what is ITL and uh, what is the basic terms available before they go for advanced levels today in agenda uh, we are going to see the overview of version 2 and version 3 what is available in ITL versions basic concepts and other modules available as service strategy design transition operation and finally CSI what is ITL it is information technology and infrastructure library the name implies that it is a library where we can go and refer whatever information is required it is a public framework where uh, the best practices from the industry has been put in together we can make use of it we can tailor made it and adapt it for our own organization and it is a practical no-nonsense framework where uh, by following this process we are not going to face any uh, problems or issues and all the implementations are going to be successful the major benefits are increased user and customer satisfaction because you are going to deliver the product on time and there is no flaws inside the product and improved service availability based on the recommendations from ITL we are going to have high, high availability infrastructure and the failure rate is also getting reduced increased business profits and revenue financial savings from reduced rework because of we implemented the process the failure rate is reduced and uh, we are going to save the effort and time cost for rework improved decision making and optimized risk it is an emerging uh, technology uh, available in the industry and uh, customers are demanding for it though you are a technical person it is always mandatory to know about the ITL process and uh, definitely it is going to add value for your own individual career different levels of ITL we have four different levels foundation level intermediate level in ITL expert and final one is ITL master so uh, to get master certifications you'll have to cover all the certifications available at ITL there are four different certifying agencies available for our European regions we have APMG and XIN they are majorly providing certifications for all the people evolution of ITL basically it started in 1980s for UK region they wanted to have certain processes for their own government and uh, they formalized by 1991 and they focused for entire UK government agencies and finally after 10 years of time they wanted to implement it for worldwide or uh, their own uh, industrial standards to across all the department in um, UK uh, also other companies in the world started implementing the process based on the familiarity got it from the industry in version 3 they launched it by June 2007 they are covered as a life cycle approach it means end-to-end -end process for any kind of IT infrastructure devices that is being covered in version 3 international standards to match up the requirement and uh, they wanted to compare it with the inter international standard and implement this kind of standards inside the ISO as well as other international standards so in BS British standard they implemented ITL uh, concepts they brought new certification as BS 15,000 for ISO they brought it as ISO 20k they included the ITL best practices framework informations in the ISO standards and brought this as ISO 20k so basic things to remember about ITL this is going to describe the process but not the technical inputs like how many uh, need to be done or what are the steps required to make the services up all those technical inputs you cannot expect it from ITL they will be saying the best practices uh, how to make use of it and uh, it does not say any roles required in the organization we can make use of the general roles available as incident manager change manager but there is no hard and fast rule that we have to use only those names and tools ITL will suggest you to use tools for monitoring and other activities but we will not 
give you the instructions like what tool need to be used so it is our own recommendations and it is defining the process and procedure for the organization's benefit so we can have additional uh, process added or we can stop with the existing one that is our own uh, choice whatever we perform on day-to-day -day basis we call that as a service operation monitoring providing the support for the end users incident management all those things will be covered under service operation under service transition if any company is acquiring other alternate company there will be a knowledge transfer is happening between the companies between the associates that will be discussed in transition process for designing the network designing the infrastructure we follow the best practices in the industry and design it so that uh, the failure rate is reduced service strategy is mainly used by business people they will uh, design a strategy for improving the performances of an organization continuous service improvement uh, though our organization is meeting all the expectations and all the requirements there is an always opportunity for the improvement and gap uh, in the services so we need to think and come out with ideas by which we can show further improvement in the overall operation in ITL everything is termed as a service whether it is a file service whether it is an internet service or web services whatever we offer to the end user that will be called as a service process set of activities which are carried out in a given manner to achieve the desired object and always the process is a measurable one which is yielding the result and uh, it delivers results to the customer we we have set some target so we'll have to ensure that we are meeting those targets month on month week on week and it is a closed loop where uh, it is taking care of end-to-end -end requirements required in the IT industry function a group of people and their tools used to carry out one or more process or activities so different functions are available in ITL and uh, based on the requirement we are going to adapt it staff the person who is implementing the change who is working on the requirement will, will be called as a staff roles set of authorities responsibilities and activities assigned to individual or personal like change manager will have set of roles incident manager will have set of roles smaller organizations they'll have one person um, managing and all the activities and having multiple roles bigger organizations they'll have dedicated incident manager dedicated project managers or problem managers for managing the operation metrics or kpis it is process is a measurable one so we have to measure it and publish the results interfaces there are some overlaps or linkages between two or more processes like there is a uh, overlap between incident management and change management as well as along with the pro problem management resi matrix for defining the roles and responsibility for any kind of activity we follow this resi matrix it is responsible accountable consulted and informed based on the activity what a person a person b is performing we designate them whether they are responsible for the activity and they are accountable for any results and sometimes we'll be just discussing with them while doing the activity it is consulting and uh, will be informing only on the activity start date and end date or during the activity time otherwise we will not be informing anything about the activity to the stakeholders that is called as informed pdca plan do check act before carrying out any activity any changes we'll have to plan the activity and uh, we'll have to implement it as per the schedule go for verification whether the activity is completed perfectly or not and then if there is any failure work on the remediation activities or finalize the activity and update the information so by which we are ensuring we are doing the end-to-end -end, uh, activity for any kind of services in the IT industry yeah this is the end of topic uh, hope you got some basic information about ITIL and we are having further advanced videos in uh, below mentioned channels to get latest videos subscribe on the new channel thank you very much